Hi, I'm Dr. Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon, and today we're going to talk about nutrition, and in particular, macronutrients. I'm going to get through the basics in three short videos, the first on carbohydrates, the second on protein, and the third on fats. Those are your three macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. They're the basic components of most foods, but more specifically, they're signaling molecules. You send your body good signals, and you reap the benefits of lifelong health. Do the opposite, and you'll likely be overweight or obese and predisposed to all sorts of problems as you age. So a basic knowledge of nutrition is really fundamental to health, and it's probably more than 75% of the battle, quite frankly. And that's why we spend so much time in our clinic making sure our patients understand at least the basics of nutrition and the merits of a proper macronutrient-based nutrition protocol. So let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are an energy source, plain and simple. They are essentially two types of carbohydrates, low and high glycemic index or GI varieties. High glycemic index carbohydrates like sugar, rice, and bread, well, they taste sweet. Low ones don't, like broccoli, kale, lettuce, and onions. High glycemic index carbohydrates instruct the body via the hormone insulin to store all surpluses as fat, while low glycemic index carbohydrates nearly invisible to the body, instructed to burn fat by maintaining insulin levels at bay. So do you now understand why eating Twizzlers on the couch at 10 o'clock at night is a bad idea? You're signaling the body to store fat and accelerating the aging process by encouraging free radical release. Distilled down, and this is a generalization, high glycemic index carbohydrates are bad and therefore should be avoided. Low glycemic index carbohydrates are good. So you want to know which carbohydrates are considered low GI versus those considered high GI? Well, my threshold is different than most. It's more aggressive. In my practice, I only allow carbohydrates with glycemic indices less than 40. So those are considered low in my practice. This maintains low insulin levels, driving fat loss and lowering bodily inflammation, as well as free radical burden. The upshot, less disease, and muscle growth is still supported because we are liberal with the amount of low glycemic index carbohydrates per day. That's called glycemic load, and it's the topic of another discussion. So let's move on to the next macronutrient, protein. Just click on the next video, and we'll get right to it. 